This is Michelle from Ringwood Sewing Centre. Today we'll take a moment to look at how you complete setting up your My Sew Net account. When you go to My Sew Net, you need to follow the quick user guide. So you'll find that under um, support. So you come here, locate the quick user guide, and essentially you're going to run through all of these steps. These are all clearly written for you. Now, one thing to note is if you're a Mac user, at the moment you're going to need to use a PC for much of this. Um, there is um, an Apple um, interface coming. When you get here, um, you can see that there are two things that you need to do. The first thing is to download and install the My Sonet Cloud Sync. Now, here there are two parts. You need to download this first part onto your PC. It's not available for Mac right now. And then if you have an Android phone, go to Google Play and download that. And an Apple phone, go to the Apple Store and download that one. Once you've downloaded those two items, you'll continue on with the remainder of the instructions. All of these instructions are quite clear until we come to the instruction that shows you how you actually go about um, um, uploading a file or a folder onto your MySonet cloud. And the purpose of this video is to show you that final bit of instruction just to extend the instructions provided by SVP Worldwide. If you've followed the instructions step by step, you should be logged on to the internet and it will look like this. And you're going to have logged in, so you'll see your identity here. And you'll come here to my Sonet Cloud. And if we scroll down, here you're going to see Upload File. And of course, there's an upload folder as well. You'll navigate to the file you want and you'll just click. When we see the prompt to say that it's uploaded and then we scroll down, we can see that there it is. It's all set ready for you to embroider. And if you look across to your machine, you will see it's there also. You have a trash can, you have a move button, uh, you have a download so you can download it onto your computer if it's a file coming the other way, so perhaps you've saved it from your machine, your Epic, um, onto the cloud, and then you're going to save it from the cloud to your machine. And here's where you do your folders. It's all very simple. It's just about the fact that the instruction doesn't actually give a very clear indication of what the screen looks like. So once again, here's where you're going to be. Um, you can set up your machines here. Uh, you can um, look at your profile and, of course, you can look at your own particular cloud. All right there. Um, easy for you to access. I hope this clarifies things for you. Um, and I, I'm sure that the customers I've worked with so far um, will testify that the, simple, the system is very simple. It's just knowing where to find everything. So good luck with that. And let us know if we can help with anything else. That's Michelle from Ringwood Sewing Centre. Our number is 9870-0011. Happy to help you anytime.